Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, we're going to be talking about trailing stop losses. So we get to question a lot of times, you know, we're not huge fans of trailing stops. Um, we're, we're really not fans of, of anything that is designed to make trading more quote unquote hands free or automated for you. Uh, you guys should run from things like that because obviously if everything in life was that easy, everyone would be millionaires, you know, and, and nobody would have to get up for work the next morning. So, uh, you know, there's a, there's a more sound reason why this doesn't work. And we're going to walk through a hypothetical trade situation, which I've already identified here in front of us. And let's just say that uh, we took a short trade here as price approached our resistance zone here, recent high resistance zone. And let's say that we were shooting for a downside target uh, right in this area. Okay, now <clears throat> what's going to happen, and let me get my uh, horizontal line here. Oops, that's not what I wanted, actually. I want my horizontal ray, and let's make it red to symbolize that this is a stop loss. Okay, so we're going to start off with our stop loss right up here as, as shown. But then what's going to happen is as we start to move down, what are we going to do? Well, the first thing we're probably going to do is we're going to move it just above this, this peak right here. Okay. And what's going to happen? Let me move this over here. What's going to happen when we do that? Well, price is going to come up, take us out, and then fly down. Right. So you got to ask yourself, did it really make sense for you to be exited out of this trade at this time? Okay. Think about that. Did it make sense for you to be out of this trade right here? And the answer is no. Okay, no matter how you want to look at this, the answer is no. And even if you wanted to do a structural analysis of the horizontal line here, you might be able to justify, well, hey, structure broke. So for that reason, I'd like to be on the trade. But here's the thing. Structure didn't even break here. Price might have breached it, but if you noticed, it never was able to retest. It fell right back in each time. It breached, fell back in, breached, fell back in. Price held. You guys know the definition of a break is that it must also hold as a retest. Price didn't do that here. Okay, and that's what that happens a lot, guys. So you're going to get taken out. Now, let's say, for argument's sake, that uh, you're still in the trade. Maybe you kept it up here for some reason or you didn't move it yet. The next possible spot to move your trailing stop loss would be down here, right? Above these peaks right here. And look, guys, what's going to happen? Price is almost going to hit your TP, and then you're going to see a giant wick, which is designed, guys, this is designed to take out retail trader stop losses. And then price is going to go on to hit your TP. Guys, it doesn't make any sense for you to be out of this trade here. But if you're trailing your stop down, you're going to get taken out of this trade. Okay, and it just doesn't make any sense. And guys, that's that's one of the things, and, and I know we haven't gone over this yet, market manipulation, but guys, this is what – the institutions use to destroy retail traders. They know where you guys are putting your stop losses and they want to take you out because they make money when you lose money, right? That's where your money goes. It goes to their pocket. So they know after all these rejections right here that all the retail traders who are in sell trades are going to move their stops just above here. And that's why this happened guys. And this, and this, it's just, it's every time, right? I can even take you over here. Let's say that we're in a buy trade over here. Let me go ahead and mark it. We're in a buy trade down here now. Okay. Again, we're heading back up. Our targets are up here. Guys, look what happens if you trail this stop loss. Okay. If you trail it too close, then you're going to move it under this valley created right here. It's going to take you out. And right after it takes you out, guys, it's going to keep going. Right. Let's say you kept it farther away. Maybe you want a more significant valley before you move it up. So you move it up to this one, and then you move it up to this one, and then you move it up to this one. Guys, what's going to happen? Okay, did price actually breach these lows right here? No, it didn't. It breached and then flew right back in, right? So we did not break structure. We did not break these lows. We did not make a new low. But you got taken out of this trade down here when you should have been taken out of this trade for TP right up here. Okay, so that's an example of why you wouldn't want to trail your stops using highs and lows, guys. Price does come to take you out all the time, all right? 
Now, what if you implemented, uh, some people will ask, a trailing stop that automatically goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pips and just kind of follows you down as you go. Well, let's figure out what happens there, okay? Let's say that we come back to our original sell trade here. And let's say that we're trailing, you know, 50%, okay? So 50% of the trade. Well, guys, after this, this low down here is created, we come down right here, and then we make a new low, and 50%, we're probably somewhere right in here. Okay, guys, whatever, whatever pips you might want to call this, 20 pips, 30 pips, whatever, you're going to get taken out prematurely. Same thing here. Whether you're following the highs or lows or you're just trailing it by a pip count, Guys, most of the time, and honestly, when you trail it by a pip count, it gets even worse, guys. Like, your exits seem to get even worse because, because you have to understand, like, price moves. Like, everyone who uses trailing stops, guys, they, they don't understand this. Price doesn't just go up, okay? And that's the only reason a trailing stop – where's my little trailing stop thing? That's the only reason why a trailing stop would work if price just went up, 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 up. Or you could argue – a trailing stop would work if price did very small pullbacks, right? And that was it. And price just did these very small pullbacks all the way up. Because then if you're trailing with a reasonable, with a reasonable uh, trail, as price retraces, it won't get all the way to your trailing stop loss, whether it be 10, 20, 30, 40, however many pips you have at trailing. But guys, how does the market really move? We've been over this over and over again. The market goes up. And the market comes all the way back. It can come this far, okay, and then it can go. Or the market can go up to here, and it can come this far, and then it can go. Or the market can go up to here, and then it can come all the way back down to the origin of the move and still go and still hold structure right here. Okay, you guys know that. So at any point with a trailing stop coming in, it's going to get taken out prematurely a lot of the time, guys. And if you simply understand market structure, you know that you can't just you can't just put a trailing stop on there and go for it. Because, guys, there are times when the retracement is huge. You'll see price make a huge move, okay? And this could be, guys, like this could be a, a 200-pip move to the upside. And you might be trailing your stop like 40 pips, all right? So it's in here. Guys, come on. It doesn't take anything to take that out and go. So trailing stops, we're not fa a fan of trailing stops. You can catch pips with trailing stops, but when we talk about optimal exits, guys, catching the most out of your moves, the, the best way to exit trades is to have an idea of where you want to get out and try and uh, – not I hate the word predict, but you want to use confluence to understand when the best time to get out of your trade is, guys, and it's never going to be – when the market comes against you. Think about it, guys. If you're if you're in this buy trade right here, you want to get out up here, right? At the very top. You don't want to wait for sellers to come in. That doesn't make any sense. You just took out a quarter of your profits for no reason. You already you literally marked a zone where you said, I think I should get out of the trade here because it looks like sellers keep coming in at this spot. And yet you held through and waited for sellers to come in and take all of your profits. Guys, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. And if you understand that, you understand why trailing stops don't make any sense either. Trailing stops are literally you're saying that you want price to come against you and take you out before it goes forward. That doesn't make any sense. Why would, why would you sit here and wait for price to come against you just to take you out at the worst possible time and then go? Okay? And, guys, I, I've shown very few examples here, but I, I promise you, if you open up the charts and you look at any trades that you might have taken or, or maybe even any of your previous trades and you, and you implement a trailing stop, you're going to see how many times you're taken out of trades prematurely. And, and it's just, guys, it's not a great way to trade. You can use trailing stops if you have no, no other options. But, this guys, is, is not what we – would like to see you guys doing it's not how we trade the markets and it's definitely not how we recommend you guys trade it we just wanted to kind of explain the reasoning behind this because we know that a lot of people do use trailing stops and we get the question a lot so i uh, hope you guys understand why we feel that way about them 
Um, if you don't rewatch the video or go into the charts yourselves and check it out a little bit more. And uh, if you still have questions, don't be afraid to uh, reach out to one of us. All right. See you guys in the next video.